Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am documenting a game that I play on my phone on a pretty regular basis. It is The Simpsons Tapped Out and donuts are a huge theme throughout the game. So I'm gonna use the Donut Builder stencil. I think I've got a couple chroma mists that kind of scream the colors to me. So let's see what I can do. All right guys, so I am going ahead and using some chroma mists to create some donuts. So I'm using my stencil here. Now I have taken the chroma mist, I have placed it on a, uh, what is that called? An acrylic block and I am using a dauber to daub the chroma mist uh, through the stencils so that I have a donut background. Now you might be going, this looks like some sort of hot mess, Sandy. And right now, I'm going to agree with you. It does look like a hot mess. But you know what? Sometimes you're going to get messy before you actually do the good things. So now that I have a lot of the excess uh, chroma mist out of my dauber, I turn it over and I'm going to go ahead and cut out some of these donuts right here so that my donuts aren't burned right because some of the donuts with as much um chroma mist that I have going through there it looks like I burned my donuts I promise though you guys it did not burn the donuts that did not happen um so I am going to uh, cut these bad boys out now I am cutting them free-handed I'm not um pulling out any kind of circle die or anything like that Donuts aren't perfect circles, right? Like donuts aren't perfectly shaped. Um, I mean, they are perfectly shaped in the fact that a donut is a perfect shape, <laughs> but not as a circle. So I'm not stressing out about that whatsoever. What I'm going to do now um, that I have my uh, donut is I'm going to take my stencil and I am going to um, spray right on top of that. Well, that turned out to be a little bit of a debacle because I sprayed so much spray that it got underneath of the stencil. Again, make it a mess, but eventually I figured this out and it turns out pretty awesome. So what I'm doing now is just going to go ahead and fill this entire donut with my other color of chroma mist because, you know, I'm a little bit of a slob when it comes to my mixed media. But what really matters here, guys, is that I'm having fun and then I'm using my products. So I think a lot of the times we might get intimidated when we watch YouTube videos where we're like, oh, wow, they just did that so neatly and cleanly and they don't have, you know, splodges and splooshes everywhere and you know, obviously I, I'm a failure at my project because I can't keep it that neat. No, you're not. Like, if you're a messy crafter, you're a messy crafter. And that's all there is to it. Embrace it, own it, and love it. Um, just clean up, right? Like, that's, that's all it takes. Plus, YouTube videos are really easy to edit out the messy. Um, unless you're like me and you're messy all the time. <laughs> so there is that. Um, so now that I have uh, gone ahead and I've got that pink color uh, on top of my uh, donut here, I'm going to take my embossing pad and I'm going to emboss through the stencil so that the entire uh, glazed area is glazed except for where um, the little line goes. So I did fussy cut the center out of those donuts. Um, I didn't figure that you really needed to see me fussy cut the center out of a donut, so I edited that sucker out. So I like edit out the fussy cutting, but I leave in the mess. So now I'm going to take my glitter glaze and go through my stencil uh, so that you get the lines. So this way the glitter glaze will stick a little bit easier and dry a little bit faster because the glitter glaze is on a por portion of that donut that did not get the embossing powder on it. I hope that that makes sense. So now I'm going to take some uh, chroma mist here and I put it directly on my 
uh, piece of plastic. This is just some packaging. And then I'm adding more and more water uh, each time that I add my stripes to the page. So what that's gonna do is allow me to have a uh, graduated stripe so that it's darker all the way to lightest. Now, I love doing this. This is a fun technique. Um, and yes, I just uh, poured that chroma mist right into my water cup. I'm, I'm not, I'm not stressing out about it, right? Like I'm not, I'm not worried. <laughs> so I am going to grab my heat tool, uh, just for a second here. Um, and what that's going to do is allow me to get the sucker dried so that I can actually scrapbook. Cause you know, sometimes it's frustrating waiting for things to dry. Um, so that you can complete your project. And I am one of those people that does not like to wait. So I uh, use that, I almost said that water drying tool. That's not a water drying tool, it is a heat embossing gun, uh, but it's, it's used for water drying. So now I'm gonna kind of figure out where I want my photos to go, where I want um, my donuts to go. So I say photos, but these are um, screenshots off of my phone. And you might be like, I can't believe you're documenting a phone game, but I am. And you know, I encourage you to document the phone games that you play too. Uh, because, you know, phone games, they're a huge part of our lives. They're just things that we do. And this um, this tapped out game is a game that my husband started playing and he played it for, I don't know, two, maybe two or three years before I even downloaded it. And now it is a thing that we talk about together. It's like, oh, new Simpsons update. Oh, new update. Oh, are you going to finish that? No, I haven't had a chance. I've been so busy. I don't even, you know, I don't even log in. Um, but it's, I don't want to say phone games can bring you together. That sounds ridiculous. But it is something that we talk about. And it is something that we do separately that we enjoy together, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know. But to me, it makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to place down some flowers with these donuts because why not? Um, I'm just pulling these flowers uh, from my stash here and I'm adding in uh, leaves and bits like that. Um, I did do a donut uh, right there that I have kind of on the right hand side of the page that doesn't have a donut hole in it. Um, I left that one as a full donut and I want it something a little bit different um, than my line of donuts over here. I am going to try to figure out if I want to create a little place, well, just like a little extra place of decoration. And I swear, guys, I will get these camera angles figured out. Um, new, new iPad, new things, and I just, I just haven't gotten my, my act together to figure out what the best viewing angle is because you would think that it would be the same as the last iPad I had, but it's not. Fun fact, it's not. Um, so anyway, going to figure that out. So I'm going to also figure out this little cluster up here at the top, and then I am going to journal, um, talking about the same kind of stuff I just talked to you guys about, about my husband playing the game first. And then that is going to do it for this layout, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know. Do you play phone games? Do you document them? Like, like let's talk about this. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.